Hi everyone, Raspberry Pi released the latest version of their Raspberry Pi imager recently and it brings with us some options that you've wanted for a very long time. Making your Pi headless is now super easy. No need to create a WPA supplicant file or a generic SSH file to get access. Now the Raspberry Pi imager comes with some advanced options that lets you do that plus more when writing the image directly to the SD card. You can do all of that beforehand. You can get the latest version from raspberrypi.org slash software. The latest version right now is 1.6. So let's take a look at this. So there is no button here for the advanced option. You can't right click anywhere for it either. So to get to it, you do control shift X. So when you do X, this option comes up. The first option that you see here, here is you can make it for this session only or for always use. I'll probably do it for this session only because I will choose different host names every time I use it. So I'll just go over some of these options. So the host name here, default is Raspberry Pi, but I'll call it Headless Pi. Why not? We'll enable SSH, so you can define the password right here. The default is Raspberry, so I'll just keep that, but you might wanna pick something harder. Uh, it allows for public key authentication. You can configure Wi-Fi. So I have one that's Raspberry Pi, and I'll put in my password later. You can show hide. You can select the Wi-Fi country. Uh, one thing I noticed is if you use your scroller on the mouse, it's extremely slow. So it actually works better if you treat it like a touch screen. You click and drag and just you know let it go. And I saw US here. I'll set the locale settings. This is good. Uh, I think this is necessary if you want to use five gigahertz Wi-Fi. I'll skip the first run wizard. This is, uh, you'll notice this if you run the Pi on uh, GUI. Play sound when finished, ah, no thanks. So I'll save it, I'll choose OS. Uh, from the last time I did the uh, the imager video, uh, some of the options were not available. So we had some base Raspberry Pi options, but now you can do like the media player, you can do emul emulation here. So you can download and install Ra RetroPie directly from here. But I'm just gonna do the, quickest version which is uh, Raspberry Pi Lite. It's about 0.4 gigs or 400 megabytes. My storage, I have one that's ready and let's write it. Yes. So once the write is successful, you'll see this message saying you can now remove the SD card from the reader. So great, everything has worked. Um, if you open up your Explorer, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So in your Explorer, it create created this uh, first run that uh, shell script that will run and do all the things for you. I want to open it now because it had, does have some of my passwords in there. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna pop this into my Raspberry Pi and see it run. All right, so I have this running on my Raspberry Pi. It seems to have booted. So uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I if it has connected to my network. So I'm gonna do ping head less pi you don't need to do that local so it looks like it has connected um, it's giving me the ipv6 address instead of the ipv4 which is cool now if i open a putty so i put it here i'm just going to type in headless pi open it opened on the other screen so you know the first time you open it tells you to accept the um the rsa2 fingerprint i say yes and bring this over here. I am going to maximize this. Make the font a little bit bigger. So I'm going to log in as Pi and a Raspberry. There we go. There you go. And you can see the host name is here, right? So if I do um, host name, right? Type less Pi. That's great. So now if I go to WPA, the WPA supplicant file is there. Um, what else did I do? I didn't do anything else, right? Yeah, just connect it to Wi-Fi, change the host name, um, and wait, there you go. All right. There you go, it has connected. I have a IPv4 and IPv6 address. So it works, there you go, it's super easy. Uh, thank you to Raspberry Pi for making this imager. It makes life so much easier. So, you know, a lot of this work uh, is no longer needed, which is great, um, and I will be posting this on easyprogramming.net. So if you do use it, remember you can download it from raspberrypi.org slash software. Uh, I'll link to this thread if you're having issues uh, with the write of the SD card. Uh, it's one of the things I love about this community is that, you know, people report things, fixes get 
fixed um, really soon. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the Raspberry Pi and uh, have a great one.